Hi YouTubers, Lil Al Thrifter here. Welcome to my Halloween tour. We'll start in the kitchen. On the table I have this depression green glass bowl. I put some vintage uh, cookie colors in there. And um, coming around, I usually decorate this area for the holidays. And um, I'll show you better with the lights off for a second. See, Woo. I got my uh, Halloween pumpkin lights and I have lights in there for my green ghosts. And uh, now the lights are on. You can see a little better. Owls and I put some Halloween uh, or some orange candles in there. And I think owls are fitting for Halloween and some green ghosts. These are vintage pewter vases. I put some fun straws in there to add a little whimsical touch. I have some vintage uh, honeycomb uh, pieces, the owl and the pumpkin, and some die cuts uh, here. And then um, over here, I ha I found this. Uh, this is new this year. Um, the how the witch. Um. Sorry, I feel flustered. This is my third time trying to do the video. <laughs> so, um, this is supposed to boil, uh, but it's really cool. Night light this year, new. Uh, being in Florida, we have Disney, so we got the Mickey Mouse uh, blow mold pumpkin lit up there. And then my little guy in the window, and I'll take you to the living room. So around the corner in the living room, we have the die cut um, skeleton, jointed skeleton. This is probably a, a 60s uh, trick-or-treat bag. And then back when I was younger, we used to collect for UNICEF. So I found this old vintage burlap bag I feed. And you turn it around and it says trick-or-treat UNICEF. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then over here, I want you to show my pillow I made. I got a lot of vintage fabric, as I've mentioned before. And um, I made a pillow. I got a new sewing machine. So I thought I'd put it out. It's orange and, oranges and greens in there. Um, so I thought it came out pretty good. And I got a new vintage uh Pumpkin guy. This is vintage metal tin. This is my dad and my sister uh, back in 2000. They surprised us on Halloween. Didn't know they were coming. They lifted their masks and I screamed. You could hear me a block away. It was a great surprise. Um, that's a really nice memory. My dad's no longer with us, but I have that wonderful memory always. Got to have my Martha Stewart out. And then I did something new this year. Um, these uh, trick-or-treat bags, back when we were younger, we'd fill them with the treats and give them out to the kids. And when my son was born, I just continued the tradition. Um, I recently bought um, some on eBay, uh, a couple of uh, orders of different ones. You'll probably see maybe three um, that repeat, but they're basically all different ones. Um, these are new too. They're the vintage uh, Hallmark from the 80s die cuts. Um, so I'll go along here so you could kind of see them a little better. And I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as I can. And then we have um, this ceramic piece I made uh, years ago. And this is a new vintage girl. And then over here um, is a, a Hallmark vintage piece. It was like excellent condition. Actually, it was layered with about five more. Um, so that was a cool find. My candles. And then over here, this is new this year, this new vintage uh, paper mache black cat. And here's my collection of my pumpkins. Those candles are from Avon from many moons ago. The ghosts are too. These little guys I got on trips. Um, the, the clay ones um, 
were handmade. And then here's more ghosts and pumpkins. And then back up here, if you hear that noise, that's my AC. Um, here's some more of the trick-or-treat paper bags. And I strung them. I'll stand back so you could see in a minute. So you could see them. And then uh, that's a die cut guy there. So see how I strung them on the window with twine. And then this is new this year. I purchased this. It was $2. And I thought it was the coolest scene for Halloween. The artist is Donovan. And I just love it. And I love bar barn scenes anyway. But look at the old tree and the orange and the blacks. So that was perfect to hang up for Halloween. And then down here, um, I have my little forest of animals. Hummingbirds were always at my dad's property up in upstate New York. And we've had a hummingbird here too. Squirrels, we used to have a squirrel named Chipper. So these pieces remind me of those times with my dad. My girlfriend sent me a Halloween card. Um, and I turned the pictures around for privacy. So um, down here with the lights off, you could see these glowing. These are um, tissue paper, cardboard, vintage lanterns. And there's different scenes, you know, all around the sides. And what I did was I put the, the tea light candles in there um, to light them up. And... Uh, and then uh, there's my vintage uh, pumpkin blow molds there. And then also, um, I just found this piece um, with the lights off. Um, hold on a minute. I put a little tea light candle in it and see the pumpkin glows. I put the tea light candles. And I got that for $5 um, at a yard sale. And then um, continuing around, um, say so put them on the window there also. Here's more of those trick or treat bags. And then here's a lantern pumpkin I've had for a while. Aren't they the coolest things? I love all the images on all of them. They're so cool. And then um, over here um, on my coffee table, um, I have my soy candle. It's purple candle. I love soy candles. And then um, this is a ceramic pumpkin my sister-in-law gave my husband and I when we were married uh, seven years ago. And as a matter of fact, on the 26th is our anniversary. So... This is a really cool, it came with flowers. We were married in October, so it was a pretty full floral uh, uh, arrangement in there for our wedding seven years ago. Okay, and then um, I'll come around here. Now here with my die cuts, um, since they're vintage and I don't want to ruin them, uh, what you can do is you could either uh, pin them which I did here to twine uh, with clothespins. Um, if they have holes in them already, I took a thumbtack and just painted it black and um, stuck it in. Um, if they don't have holes, again, you could, you know, use that wooden clothespin um, on there, or you could uh, just lean them against the against something like here standing up um the cat and the pumpkin are vintage hallmarks the others are uh, bisel bezel bisel or other vintage um die cuts um this actually is an organ that my dad and i used to fool around on he played piano beautifully he was deaf in one ear and he lost a finger when he was in the korean war um, and he played just beautifully. Um, so with this organ, we used to bang around on that. So once in a blue moon, I play it. 
Um, and then down here I used easel plate holders to, uh, you know, lean the die cuts on. Um, that's another way to display them if you don't want to, you know, uh, ruin them or whatever. And then over here I have, oh, I didn't put it on. This is another Mickey ghost and it changes colors. Isn't that cool? And then this, um, I've had this since I was like 11. My neighbor gave it to me. Here's a little pumpkin, a little witch. Um, again, I turned my photos around for privacy. Um, and before I shut it, I want to make sure I showed what I wanted to. So, yeah. Um, I'll show these again. Here's the, uh, this is a really old one. Tissue paper is kind of wearing out, but it's a uh, uh, vintage die cut. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. See you next time. Ciao.